Welcome to the studio. My name is Diane Bleck. I'm the founder of the Doodle Institute. And in this video, we're going to be doing lessons from the I Love Doodling workbook. All you need is some markers and some paper. You can easily download these worksheets at the doodleinstitute.com and make sure you subscribe so you're the first to know when I release new lessons. Welcome to the episode. So we are doing the fun at beach doodles out of the I Love Doodling book. The worksheets are available on my website. Otherwise, you can follow along with the book. And we're going to make some fun beach doodles today. So I'm going to start with a new blank page. I am using a journal called Scribbles That Matter. I really like that it has this kind of dot matrix paper. Um, it has little folders at the back. So if you wanted to put like little step by steps in here, you could. And I'll be totally honest, like... I've got some of my little step-by-steps that I've, that I can put in the back there. So let's, um, let's get started. I'm going to start by, first of all, just framing in the page. I find that creating some kind of frame for me just helps me visually kind of know where my edges are for drawing and it just kind of gets the page started. And I left the corners open because I think we're going to add some little some little characters or things in the corners as we go. So I'm just going to start with some of the basics. So we're, do we're doing all of our little beach doodles and I'm going to start with a bucket. So I'm going to start with an oval. Bring down two lines, curve the bottom and then add two little rectangle or squares on the side and connect it. And that's our little handle for our bucket for building like a sandcastle. Next, we're gonna do a seashell. And I'm gonna start with a dot and then I'm gonna do kind of like a winding curly Q in and then I'm gonna connect that. And there we have our first little seashell. We're gonna add a couple of little lines. So cute. So let's do another seashell. And this one's going to start with four bumps. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to pull this down into like an upside down, what I call gumdrop shape. Add a little oval at the bottom. And then we're going to bring those lines down and we'll still have like a little curve in them. So there we've got two little shells and a bucket. And I'm going to pause and kind of color as we go because um, sometimes it takes a minute for people to to catch up I don't mean to, to draw fast you can always pause the movie so I'm gonna add a little blue at the back add a little green and then I like to put a drop shadow so I'm just gonna add a little drop shadow for this little seashell I'm just gonna add a little touch of light yellow so that the shell kind of still feels a little bit white. I'm going to add a little drop shadow and then the next seashell I'm going to paint or color pink. So here's a little pink seashell and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a drop shadow. So there's our first little doodles and we're getting warmed up so we're ready to to move on to our next one. So our next one, I'm gonna do a thin, like blobby is what I call it. And I'm just gonna kind of keep coming down with some of it. And then I'm gonna add a rectangle at the bottom and that's a little bit of coral. Then we can do a starfish, which is a star, but we're just gonna kind of round it a little bit. So I did a little rounded triangle on that side, a little rounded triangle on this side, that side. And then we're going to do one coming down in this corner and one coming down in this corner. And don't worry if it's a little wonky. That's totally fine. Doodling is not about being perfect. It's just about having fun. Um, next, we're going to do a seashell. And I'm going to break it down. I'm going to do a little circle. Then I'm going to do a little bit of a bigger circle. And then we're going to do a curve coming down into a curly cue. And then we're just gonna take that curly cue up and back, just like that. And then we can add some little curved lines, kind of like we did on the seashell. 
I'm going to add a little different touch and I'm going to add two little dots at the bottom. That one I'm just going to do one. And then we'll color these in as well. So I'm going to color this first one in orange. And then I'm going to add some little dots to it. Might have needed to let that dry a little bit. Then I'm going to do my starfish. I'm going to let that one dry for a minute. And then I'm going to add a little bit of light brown to my seashell here. And then I might add a little bit of dark brown to the bottom. And that way it kind of looks like it has a little bit of shine to it. I'm going to add a little bit more light brown. So it just has like that, just that little bitty accent right there. And then I'm going to add my gray drop shadow. So I love breaking down doodles into just basic shapes, putting different shapes together to make something new. You know what? I'm not digging that highlight. So I'm just going to do a light and a dark. And then hopefully this little guy is, I don't know if he's dry enough. We're going to, we're going to risk it. I'm going to give him a little smiley face. Okay, our next row, we're going to do another coral. But this time, instead of doing these kind of like skinny blobs, we're going to do bigger blobs coming down. Just a little something different. And then we're going to do our first fish. So I'm going to do a skinny rectangle. Similar to this little, this little shell we did, we're going to go curve up and down and then I'm going to curve this way and down and then I'm going to add a little tail to it. So let's add a face with a little eye, a squiggly line, another squiggly line, another squiggly line and then some stripes. And there's our little and I'm going to give him a little smile. There's our little fish. And then we're going to do an octopus, which is a big curve. And then I'm going to add just four legs to begin with. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to add one, two, three, four. I just kind of tuck them in behind. And then we'll add some eyes, a big smile. And then I'm going to do cheeks on each side. And then we can color this one in. So I'm going to make this coral green. And then I'm going to make the fish a combination of yellow and blue. And then I'm going to do the octopus. Hang on, I've got this little dot of white on that green. And then I'm going to do a little purple octopus. And I'm going to give this one some pink cheeks. And then we can add the drop shadows. I just find the drop shadows help the drawing pop off the page. I typically do them to the right and underneath the drawings. So next we're going to do the whale. Now this little seashell, this little fish got you ready for drawing the whale. The whale is one big swoop come down. Then we bring our, we go, we do a curved line. Then we're going to pause and add some little fins, go to the tail and then add a little tail. So we did the big swoop up at, then we came, did the curve, the little fins, and then we put the tail on. And then we can add a smile. And I'm gonna do an upside down eyelash. This is like, actually it's going up. And then I'm gonna add eyelashes. And then we'll add some little squirts of water. Then we can do a jellyfish. So the jellyfish, we're going to do similar to the little octopus, a little 
curved head. I'm having a hard time getting that curve in. And then we're going to do the bumps down below, kind of like this, the top of this seashell. And then I'm going to come back and finish this in a second when I add the colors. So next we're going to do a half circle. Add a little skinny oval. Another oval for the head for our turtle. And then we can add the turtle's flippers and a tail. And then I'm going to give it a little eye and then add some details to this shell. Okay, so let's add some color. I'm going to do light blue for the whale. And then I think I'm going to do a little bit of a darker blue for the water drops. And then we're going to go over here to the jellyfish. And I'm going to add some squiggly, different color squiggly lines coming down from our jellyfish for the tentacles. And then we can add a smile and the little eyes for the jellyfish. And then we can color in our turtle. So I'm gonna do light green for the bottom part. And then I'm gonna color the shell dark green. And then we'll add a little drop shadow. Just like that. And there we have a whole page of doodles started. And now we can go to our next page. So our next page, we're gonna start with the little crab. So I'm gonna do an oval for the body, two circles for the eyes, and then I'm gonna connect it down, add a smile and some freckles, and then the claws, I'm going to do two skinny lines up like this. And then similar to our seashell here, we're going to do a little curve that scoops around. So a little curve and scoops around and then we can add the rest of their legs. And then we're going to do the seahorse. And I love this lesson because we're really building on things. So the seahorse, we're going to start with a nose. And we're going to do that scoop and go around just like that. Then we're going to bring the mouth down. And then we're going to bring a little chin. And then again, similar to the seashell and the whale, we're going to do that curve that goes around. And then it's going to spiral into a circle. And then we're going to bring it back up to the top. Then we're going to add some little details on the top of the head, at the back, and then a little fin and a line for the tummy. And then we can add an eye and we can add a little smile. And there's our little seahorse. So cute. And then we can color in our crab. So I'm going to color the body red and you might have different colors. You might have a rainbow crab or a purple. So here's our little crab and then we'll do our seahorse and I'm going to do, I think I want a little green seahorse. Sometimes I color it blue, but I'm feeling green today. Oh, I could have colored it orange too. I think I didn't color it orange because I didn't want it the same color as the crab. So we'll do a little green. I'm gonna add a little purple. And then maybe a hot pink tell me. And then we can add the drop shadow, grays in my hand. 
I love bringing the little lessons from the I Love Doodling book to life and sharing them with y'all. So there's our seahorse. Next, we're gonna do a couple of swimsuits. So we start with a, a deep, it's almost like one of our gumdrop shapes, upside down, then add two lines. Bring our lines down and then curve in, curve in, and then add some details. And then we can do a pair of swim shorts, which is three sides of a rectangle. Bring a line in on each side, add a triangle, add some pockets and a waistband. And if we want, we can also, we're gonna add, it's not quite a triangle. We're gonna add this little shape here with a little top and we're gonna add a little sunblock. And then we can color this one in as well. So I'm gonna color in this purple. And I'm gonna color in this waistband on this one purple. And then I think I'm gonna do a blue stripe and blue on the shorts. And then we can color in the sunblock. Let's do a little orange, maybe a little hot pink up here, blue here and then some yellow for the sun. And then we can add our drop shadows. And I just, I feel like it's just something that makes my drawings feel complete and pop off that page. So next we'll do a little sand castle and then a sailboat. So let's do our sailboat here actually. So we'll do our sailboat here. So it's a triangle, a straight line down, and then we'll add some waves. And then we can add our sand castle. Hmm, where do I wanna add this in? I'm running out of room. We'll do it down here. So two lines, and then you do a dash line, and then you connect the dash line. And then we can add a door, and then we can add some windows. And then we can also draw like some fun little surfboards in the beach. Maybe we'll do a little horizon out here and we'll draw a little sun coming out. And then we gotta have the little, gotta add the beach here. Okay, so now I'm gonna color in my little sailboat red. We kind of create a little scene down here. I wasn't planning on that. But it just kinda, I was trying to figure out the best way to fit everything in. And it just felt like a good combination. So we'll color in the ocean. Then we can color in some sun. We can color in our sand castle down here. And then I'm just gonna add some dots down here for the sand. And 
And then we can finish in our surfboards. Our drawing is coming together. And I, I just love practicing drawing. I love doodling. I just find it such a great um, activity for engaging my creativity, for um, playing, for drawing with my kids, for learning. Um, I've been a lifelong doodler. And I love sharing these lessons here for you to enjoy. Okay, so let me see my drop shadow. We'll finish out our details real quick. And then I'm going to add our little seashell in the corner of all the corners. It's just a fun little touch. And then my last little thing I like to do is add little polka dots to the background. I feel like it just, for me, brings the picture together. So let's add a few more little dots. And I just kind of look for open spaces that my eye gravitates towards. And then I just add a little dot there. I don't overthink it. So that is it for our fun.